So now we come to the modern, uh, modern pitch uh, alto. Uh, um, and one thing uh, that uh, recorders are great for is uh, to play in folk music because um, it's not so easy to um, sort of lumber around a, a keyboard uh, back in those days. Um, and uh, this is some Macedonian folk music uh, that was uh, compiled by Lindsay Pollack. Um, if you know the name at all, he's the, um, the carrot clarinet guy. Um, he, he takes uh, various uh, fruits and vegetables, um, Makes a, makes a ball, put a few holes, sticks his clarinet mouthpiece in it, and woohoo, clarinet, uh, carrot clarinet, uh, clarinet. So this is, uh, this is uh, an, an often um, music, uh, Macedonian music wasn't always in 4-4. I know that uh, modern, so the music that Westerners like, used to listen to are one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, this is actually in seven, eight. Uh, so that the emphasis is one, two, three, one, two, 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 one, two. Um, it really rips along. And if, you, and, uh, if you're wondering, um, I, uh, I bought this um, because I didn't want to have to uh, reach down for the lowest note. And you'll notice on the bigger recorders that there are it's not really needed um, on an alto, but I thought it looked cool, so <laughs> <laughs>
composers um, had their own tuning, um, which equates to um, the A being at 392 hertz. And uh, I think um, I'll just play um, them beside each other so that um, you, can, you can tell um, the extra warmth that comes from a slightly bigger recorder. So if I play a D, and then uh, you can hear there is a, quite a difference. Um, so one of the uh, composers um, who wrote for the alto recorder uh, was a fellow called Juan Moutier, which I, I learned a couple of years ago actually means dead wood. Oh. Moutier, mort, and what meaning wood, so dead wood. So this is from um, the fourth suite. Um, he wrote six suites for travel recorder solo. Actually, another, another thing that uh, I've learned when I do play Baroque French music is they, uh, they didn't write um, for regular treble clef um, because the treble clef usually toils around the second bottom line. Well, the, the French Baroque violin clef actually toiled around the bottom line. Um, and uh, that's led to a lot of um, extra work having to put it in um, modern clef. But uh, luckily, uh, this one is... Uh, in uh, modern G clef. So I'm going to play um, the air uh, from the fourth suite. <laughs> 